So the expertise and demand, microfinance has gotten inc much more sophisticated in the past eight to 10 years. And so initially, I think it was quite um, acceptable to get into the sector with a few years of generalized finance experience and, or a development degree. Those were sort of typical ways to get into the sector. But as it's gotten more sophisticated, people have started looking for more specific skill sets. Um, I'll just run through some of the examples here and then talk in a little bit more detail about some of them. So first of all, um, retail banking and finance skills are always in demand. So that's, that's important to sort of always been important and it will continue to be important. An area where there's a huge amount of both opportunity and focus right now is around mobile money and sort of telcos being engaged in financial services. Um, and another area that's related to this is financial services technology. It's not listed here, but it should be. It's a very hot area, sort of understanding the technology tools that support increasing outreach of financial services to poor households. Um, another area which is we, where we're focusing a lot and other organizations are starting to focus is product design, launch, and marketing, which is, a, again, a really specific skill set. And as I talked about earlier, microfinance is much more than just credit. We're also seeing a real shift towards much more of a client-centered product design approach. And so organizations that are applying approaches like design thinking, client-centered design thinking into their product design approaches, or looking for people who come from that design thinking background. Um, people are looking for folks with experience in actual financial product design, launch, integration, prototyping, et cetera. So that's another area where we're seeing a lot of interest. On the investing side, I, I would say there's you know, a bit of a trend towards um, more demand for equity investing skills, but there is and continues to be a demand for people who come with debt investing skills, so understanding sort of how to get deals done, origination, due diligence, um, investment processes, and then monitoring of investments. A another big area that is big beyond just microfinance is thinking about what you might have heard uh, being referred to as big data. Um, we're talking about data analytics and the use in microfinance to better understand our client base and better understand what products to offer them. And so at Grameen Foundation and other organizations, you'll see an interest in people who bring those data analytics skill sets. And then a final area, of course, is um, regulatory expertise. And this isn't to be overlooked. The regulators are really crucial partners. And increasingly, we're looking at telco regulators as well not just financial services regulators. So that's another area of, of expertise and demand. And then in terms of education, I, you know, I think this is, I, there are a couple bullet points here, but I don't think there's any hard and fast rule. I work with colleagues who have an incredible range of degrees and backgrounds. Um, I, I would say there's probably a, you know, a, 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 a group of people who come from the international development sort of MBA space, but there are plenty of other people who majored in unrelated fields, undergrad, or have graduate degrees in sort of more specific disciplines such as agriculture or organizational development for HR or computer science who are starting to get into this space. So I'd say that this shouldn't be a limiting factor. I think this is an area where um, employers are thinking pretty creatively.